Using a lavalier microphone can be a great option for broadcast style interviews, vlogs, and recording tutorials where you need to move around and you can't be under a stationary microphone. Now, when Seven Rhymes asked me to take a look at their iRay DW20 dual channel wireless microphone system, I wanted to check it out. Now, I haven't been compensated for this review. Seven Rhymes did send me the kit to test out, but they have no control over the content or my opinions, and they won't see this review before you do. Now, I have to say I was quite impressed with some of the features you get in this kit for this price point, but let's start it with some basic audio tests. And right now you're hearing me through the iRay DW20. I am using the included lavalier microphone. You actually get two of them along with two of these transmitters. There's also a built-in microphone here, but I want to start out with what I think is a really common use case. I know a lot of people like to hang these microphones off of their shirt or in a pocket and that, but this is one of the most inconspicuous ways that you can conceal a lab microphone. So this is the basic sound. We have no processing here. We're in my space. It does have treatment. There's also a computer and fan noise running here. So there is noise in the background. I'll be silent for a moment just so you can hear how it's picking up the room. And so absolutely you can hear that noise in the background, but it's certainly not anything beyond what I would expect with an omnidirectional lav mic. Now let's go ahead and we'll listen to the built-in microphone on the transmitter. Now I've gone ahead and unplugged the external lav mic and now we just have the built-in microphone. You can see the meters moving on the transmitter on my chest. Normally you'd turn this around so you have the clip side out just to make it a little less conspicuous, but I want you to see the microphone in action. And to my monitoring, it sounds like I'm getting a little less bass response through the built-in microphone. Pretty similar in the upper, like in the mid-range and upper. Maybe a little less bass response here, but overall again, I think the sound is fairly clear from what I can pick up. Now I've gone ahead and switched back to the included lavalier microphone. And you know, for the first two sample recordings, you've been listening to me with the receiver from this unit connected into my Focusrite Scarlett 18i20 audio interface. And that's a pretty typical way that we would connect up a wireless kit. We'll go ahead and run an audio cable from the receiver into an audio interface or a portable recorder in order to make recordings. But one of the great features about this kit that I wasn't expecting in this price range is that it is also an audio interface. And so right now I have a USB-C cable from the port on the receiver connected directly into my computer. No interface in between, no portable recorders, it's just one and done. And that is a great feature if you want to simplify your workflow, you don't want to have to have a lot of extra gear, maybe you want to take this on the go with you. And so I was really happy to see that they've included that. From my monitoring, the audio sounds at least as good. I don't really notice too much of a difference, but it's hard to tell when you're listening while you're speaking. I'll check it back in post and see if it's actually better or worse with the digital connection. But for right now, I'm gonna say it's working really well. This is something you definitely need to keep in mind if you're thinking about getting a wireless kit. Now I wanted to provide a test using an iPhone with this microphone in an indoor environment. This of course is my studio space and it is sound treated. But it'll give you an idea if you're using this microphone with a fairly basic YouTube or vlogging setup as the, the kind of sound you could get. Certainly a convenient way to set up and record. And now I switched over to the included lav mic. I've got it here just wired up under my shirt right at the top, connected into the transmitter. Of course, I'm only sitting a couple of feet away from the receiver and the camera here, in this case, the iPhone. But again, this is another idea, the sound here with the included lav mic as opposed to the built-in microphone. And this is kind of an open room and indoor vlog test and we'll just see how much background noise the microphone picks up. And again, what if any difference the, uh, the noise reduction is making here. So we'll see I'm in an open area. It's a lot of echo to my ears here. So it'll be interesting to hear back in post. Now it's a nice windy day outside. So I wanna take this outdoors, do a vlog test. We'll see how it picks up with wind. It's supposed to have some built-in noise reduction. So we'll see how that works. Plus this is said to have a 100 meter range. And so we're gonna test that line of sight as well. As you can see, I have the wind muff on the built-in mic. I'm just walking along and we'll see how it's gonna be. Continuing along into an area, it's a little bit like a wind tunnel through here. And it's blowing quite heavily on the microphone. So we'll hear back in post. I'll see if it actually is making a difference. Walking near to an air conditioner right now. And uh, that's got some noise. And of course the built-in noise reduction on this is supposed to take care of a few of those things. So we'll see how that works out as well. Okay, and this is a test at about uh, 30 meters or 100 feet approximately. Clear line of sight, clear day. Okay, and this test here is at about 60 meters away. 
and again clear line of sight. And now finally at about 100 meters away, this is the maximum range we're supposed to get. Now I want to do a frequency response test as well on the units themselves, not the microphone. So I'm going to do a direct recording of a sine sweep from 20 to 20,000 hertz, and then I'll connect the generator up directly to one of the transmitters and record it through as well. And we'll see if there's any coloration. I don't expect it, but I want to test it out. And looking at the sine sweep comparison, I can say that there's no coloration added by this kit. And that's really good to see. I was a little worried about how the built-in noise reduction might affect the coloration of the sound. But clearly here, we've got accurate response all the way across the frequency range. This, of course, doesn't take into account the microphones that come with this. This is just the pure audio path from the transmitter through the receiver. Now, I want to show you the controls and some of the features on these units. So I have both the transmitter and the receiver here. It's active. I also have the second transmitter available here that we can take a look at as well. So looking at the second transmitter, you'll see that we have a built-in microphone as well as the port for the external lab that I'm using. Again, the one that's active right now does have the external lab in use. Now there's a couple of slots on either side of the built-in microphone, and that is for the wind muff that comes with it. It clips and locks into there, which is really nice for external use where we might have, might have wind, but we don't want it to fall off. Now there's controls on the side, both transmitters are the same. In this case here, we have a mute button. So when we press the mute, it's gonna go ahead and mute the audio. Uh, you have to do a hold so that you're not gonna accidentally press it. That's a really good thing. There's a pairing button as well. Same thing, if you hold this in, it will pair the transmitter with the receiver. I found that they're paired right off the bat. I haven't had to do anything with that. And both transmitters also have a USB-C charging port on them. This is for just charging only, no audio from here power button on the front and so uh you know really compact it's got a clip on the back here for your belt or again you can use it to clip on on your shirt if you're going to use this without the built-in uh, lab mic so really useful there as well so the transmitter is pretty pretty well laid out nice display shows us the battery level the microphone being active or muted whether it's paired and what the transmission uh, signal is as well as the audio level now on the receiver it looks very similar we have there is our audio output as well as our monitor jack and if we use the monitor with a you know earbuds i haven't noticed really much of a difference in battery life but if you do connect in a full size set of headphones on here with you know a little bit higher impedance anything you know more than about 35 ohm you're going to find it eats the battery faster because i did in fact get close to six hours battery life with both of these at a reasonable distance and i wasn't able to use it for six hours at 100 meters but overall i found the battery life to be good now this also has switches on the side in this case we have a gain a gain control up and down and that allows us to control both channels i have both transmitters active here and so what's happening is i'm recording from a right now for this video but i have b active to show you now this has several modes there's also a safety mode and again i'm recording from a but you can get also a minus 6 db safety track so for for recording on on this you know scene where you don't want to miss the shot or have garbled audio having that extra track is nice in the background there's also a mono mode mono on here is going to basically just do that it duplicates the sound onto two tracks now i want to take a look at the build quality and what you get in this kit first of all the build you've seen it up close but i will say the connections feel very solid the buttons and controls are solid they have a nice positive click on them the clip also is solid you know i don't feel like this is going to break anytime soon and uh, certainly it grabs well onto a shirt or onto a belt so again nothing with the receivers or transmitters it's an issue it does come with two cables we get a, a trs and a trrs cable so for those analog connections we're pretty much good with anything it could be a camera could be uh, you know an audio interface even we may need to use an adapter you know like a, a 3.5 to quarter inch adapter but that's not included but that would give us the analog connection it also comes with a usb cable that has three usb c's on one end and a usb a on the other end and one of those c's is a data cable that's used for that digital connection that we've been using in this video and then the other two are for the transmitters that are for charge only and so you can charge all three devices at the same time i found it takes probably about two hours to get up to a full charge i didn't drain them completely to dead but almost there so charging was pretty quick 
Having that second receiver or second transmitter, pardon me, is really nice as well because, you know, if one does stop, if the transmitter stops sooner, you can always switch to the other one. Of course, you only have one receiver. But overall, a quality, again, a build. The features is really good. Comes with two wind muffs, so each transmitter gets that muff for outdoor use. And it also comes with two external lav mics. One I'm using now, here's the second one. Plus, you get a really nice kit to put everything in. It's really solid. It's a hard shell case. Everything's set in foam to store the store the transmitter and the and the receivers in here, as well as kind of a mesh area that's going to hold all those cables and lab mics in place. So take it with you on the go for recording. This is a really nice compact solution. And over and above all that, because the transmitters have a standard 3.5 millimeter TRS connection, you can also use a variety of other microphones. So I, you know, I have a powered shotgun microphone here. And you could connect this up if you wanted to use a hand boom pole and make it wireless. You could just clip this onto the end of the pole with the microphone. Really, there's a lot of options. Again, you know, it's a lav kit, certainly, but really it's a wireless transmitter and receiver that gives you a lot of options. Now that we've had a chance to do a variety of tests with this kit, I'll give you my final thoughts. Overall value here, I think, is very good. The sound quality is there. It's what I would expect from omnidirectional lavalier microphones. Certainly worked well indoors and outdoors, although I will say I was expecting a little more from the built-in noise reduction. So I really didn't notice a whole lot of what I would call noise reduction. Now, that could be a good thing as well because, you know, it's baked in, processing would be there. I'd rather do something with it in post anyways, although I do realize that can be a convenience feature. Now, physically, I mean, the build quality is good. Connections are good. Battery life was there. Range of operation was there. But for me, one of the most important things here is that built-in audio interface. It's so nice not to have to use a portable recorder or an audio interface when you want to make recordings with this. Of course, the analog connections are nice. It gives you ultimate connectivity, especially if you want to record directly into a camera that's going to get it done for you. So overall, I'm going to say here, the value on this kit is very good. Don't expect it to have magic noise reduction that's going to instantly make everything quiet. And so overall, I have to say that this kit from Seven Rhymes would be a buy, you know, for a dual microphone kit that has all of these flexible options for external microphones and this build quality, you're hard pressed to get something in the same price range. So of course, if you want a more basic setup, there are other options for that as well. You could check out this video on the screen.